Hello guys, welcome back to Hellbound Hacker Basic Web Hacking number 21. So this time Drake uh, invented another secure PHP and Microsoft SQL Server login. But he hunts again failed to secure it. Okay, those are two important information. The base code is P PHP and the database um, database management system is Microsoft SQL. So let's try to input just admin admin and we can see the error message your username and password did not match the records. So let's uh, use a single quote in the username, just keep the password as it is and log in. You will see an error message from Microsoft um, OLEDB uh, that say unclosed quotation mark, which is very classic uh, for a SQL injection. So we will need to exploit a SQL injection. Um, okay, just go back and we will start using. I have my notepad here because it's quite long. So we will start using having one equal one, which will copy, which will give us some information, as you will see in a few seconds. Having one equal one, which is a, a true statement. So uh, we don't have to worry about that. And then we are going to include uh, dash dash without any space at the end. Dash dash will comment anything after the username. So the query is something like select everything from a table name. We still don't know the table name. Uh, where username uh, is equal what we are going to input and password is equal to input2 so basically the dash dash will be used to comment everything here so and password equal something will not be considered that's why we use dash 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 so having one equal one dash dash is going to give us this information with the column name of and the table name. So the table name is users and the column is ID. What we can do now, <coughs> we want to uh, find out all the columns that are inside the user table. And so we can do this just by appending in here using group by and having at the same time so if we group by something that we know that exists because we saw the error message before we can discover some more information so again a single quote <coughs> group by and something that comes out from the error message having one equal one dash dash and again, we are going to see another piece of information that is useful, which is another uh, column name, which is username. And keep going with the group by to discover more information. So we know user ID from the first message, then comma, users dot username having one equal one. Here it is login and we have another column that is password let's go back again and we are going to append this one this new column as well users dot password having one equal one dash dash login and there is another column named priv id same methods again comma users dot priv id having one equal one dash dash mm. at this point we've got 
the default error message that means that there are no more column there are no more um, information to extract from this so we know that there is a table name users with the following columns username password and print ID we know that from what we got now the next thing to do is actually to perform a union uh, query to extract information to uh, find out mm, what's actually inside the row uh, in the user table so we, we are going to use um, a, a simple union select that we already used before in some other tutorial uh, we are going to select four um, columns because we know that the columns are one two three um probably one two three four actually i forgot one id so we know that there are four columns one two three and four and so we are going to um, perform this kind of union select okay what we are going to extract with that um, information so we are going to extract the first uh, the mean, it means the first username available um, from the table, the user's table and then something that we don't mind just to fill the union because we have to balance as you know uh, in the union, I explained this in another tutorial from users, we know that the table um, is users, we know the name of the table and its users and then we're going to compare where username is Mm, greater than the letter A dash dash just to complete this copy and paste it with this information we are going to force uh, actually a conversion so syntax error converting a varchar value admin to a column of data type integer so I choose this particular field the first one of the fourth field because the first one is actually referring to ID and usually ID are numeric are uh, declared as as an integer so we are going to force an error in the database because we're, we want to extract the username which is a string but we are going to declare it in the first part of the union and that's why we got that error message so I cannot convert admin in the uh, column of data type integer so we know that there is a username named admin okay let's find out now uh, if there is um, one more username just by comparing this greater than admin same same uh, query but instead of greater than a we are going to specify greater than admin so we know that admin exists so there is anything else in the table that is not admin and we got back the usual error message so we know that there is no any other user in the um, table okay we extracted the username and now we need to extract the password easy same using a union but this time we are going to um, extract password instead of the first username mean username we don't need it anymore we are going to directly extract the password <coughs> single quote union select password and then fill it 111 from users where username is equal to admin we know that information so we can directly extract this information from admin dash dash at the end login and you will see error converting again and this is actually the password so we know that the user is admin and the password is this one we can go back and try to log in we know admin is the username and the password is this one login and congratulations 